hi everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for joining us thank you for tuning in and thank you for clicking on this video so today i thought i'd switch it up a little bit and try something a little bit different um we're gonna be testing out some of the new urban decay brow products i have not had my brows done and god knows how long they look ratchet they look terrible um, but we're going to see what we can do and see what we can make happen with these brow products. So if you want to see how my um, brows turn out, then let's just get into the video. All right, so I'm going to zoom you guys in even closer. We're getting up real close and personal. So yeah, as you can see, my brows look horrible. So I still do like I normally do. I went in with my Benefit Conditioning Brow Primer. But I'm going to start off with this brow pencil because I have the um, brow blade. It's a waterproof pencil and ink stain, which this is what the packaging looks like. So the brow blade comes in seven colors. Let's see. This is what it looks like. So on one end, it has like this micro tip here which I don't know if you guys can see that. And then on the other end, you can roll it up and then you have the actual like pencil side there, which is kind of neat. Although I usually like having a spoolie on one end, but I mean, we can, we'll, we'll make it work. So um, the color that I have is the shade dark drapes which is a dark brown color i believe that's the darkest shade that it comes in if i'm not mistaken yes yeah, so dark drapes is the darkest color that it comes in um so let's see because from what i was told with that micro tip in you are able to go in and kind of mimic uh brow hairs i'm gonna go in with the pencil side first hopefully you guys can see what i'm doing because i have to really get like close up in the mirror so I usually like to um, kind of trace out my brow like underline the bottom part here just to give it define it and kind of shape it out since my brows aren't done and they they need some type of shape so gonna go in with that hopefully you guys can still see this I'm liking it so far it's pretty easy to work with I feel like the shade is very comparable to about the number five and benefit like I said benefit their darkest shade is a six but I feel like this would be comparable probably to about their number five. All right, so this is as even as they're gonna get. So I purposely left the front part undone because I usually like to go in with a lighter shade just because naturally with our brows the front is lighter and then it tends to get a little bit darker unless you have like thinning brows or sparse brows then not so much but I want to kind of test out this end of the brow, uh, brow pencil and see what happens so with this you're supposed to be able to mimic like your actual hairs and kind of get like that micro braided bladed look which is why this is called the brow blade i'm gonna kind of go in upward strokes um so, so we can kind of mimic the hair So the brow blade retails for $26. You can get it at Ulta, the Urban Decay website, and also Sephora as well. 
So now we're gonna try out the brow finish, which is this guy here. Um, this is their waterproof brow gel, which I feel like this would be comparable to um, the 24 hour brow setter because I leave this is in the color ozone and this comes in two shades so this comes in the clear which is the one I have the ozone shade this is what the packaging looks like and then the other one is called midnight cowboy now if you're familiar with urban decay they do have a midnight cowboy glitter liner so that one is going to be a little bit more like sparkly which for the everyday person i don't feel like that's necessary i mean unless you're doing a specific makeup look for like a photo shoot or runway or something like that i don't feel like that's necessary but i'm just going to this is what the brush looks like and i'm just going to take a little bit of this and run it through my brows because i do do that with the 24 hour brow setter even after i do this i'll go in and brush up the front of my brows a little bit more because i feel like too it helps kind of what do I want to say? Like, let's say I went in too harsh with the brow product. It kind of makes it look a little bit more natural. And especially since we don't have a spoolie here, this is what I'm going to have to do. And then it'll help the brows last longer as well. So I feel like they look pretty good. Now the last thing that I usually do, actually let me tell you how much this one retailed for. So their brow gel retails for $21. And like I said, it comes in the two colors, but I feel like the only one that you would really use is the ozone, which is the clear brow gel. So the concealer that I like to use, I like to use this one here. This is the Lancome concealer. The Tint E Doll Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer. I don't know the shade, which I'll list it below because it's rubbed off the back of here. I've used it so much. But the reason I specifically like to use this concealer for my brows is because this concealer is thick. It's very thick, so a little bit goes a long way, and it definitely camouflages or hides my brow hair. It's just like it says on the packaging, which is definitely what I need right now. And I like the shade as well, just because it has a little bit more of that like warmer undertone to it. So it has a little bit of a yellow tone to it, which is what I like. And I just literally like to um, use a flat definer brush like this. I do have a little bit on the product on there now. I like using this brush because you can literally get up right next to your brows and literally sit there and start to carve it out. Would I buy it? Would I recommend it? So, now, I feel like this. If you already have your Benefit product, go-to products, I wouldn't necessarily, or even Anastasia, I wouldn't necessarily go out and just run and go get it if you have your go-tos already. I do like this, though. I thought it was different because I've never seen... A pencil with the micro tip because Anastasia just as well as Benefit they have their thinner pencil with the spoolie on the end and then they have their thicker pencil with the spoolie on the end but neither one of them have that micro tip to kind of mimic your brow hairs and give you that more like micro braided bladed look which is what what's in right now I do like how my brows turn out and I actually like the shade as well like I said this is comparable to like my number five and my benefit pencil so I do like this like I said it is a great product like I said I wouldn't necessarily like oh let me go run out and go get it I did like the brow gel as well although like I said I do use the 24-hour brow setter 
the only thing that I wish was a little bit different about the Urban Decay brow gel is the way that the brush head is because look at this here it does have I don't even know if y'all can see that it does have some longer bristles here at the bottom and then the other side I feel like it's kind of flat I like I say I don't know exactly if it's waterproof because I ain't about to go hop in the water no time soon and I'm not about to splash no water on my face but overall I do like the products the pricing is it a little bit steep for some people? Probably, but if you already buy Anastasia and Benefit, they all around the, that same price point. In that 20, you know, 20 plus range, they all around that same price point. Let me know if you guys are going to go try the new Urban Decay products or if you've tried them already. Let me know your thoughts on them, how you use them, how you feel about it. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you all hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell notification as well because you know you do not want to miss any more of my videos you want to stay updated with me so um and also don't forget to leave comments down below and let me know what kind of video videos you all would like to see me do um and i guess that's it and until the next video bye guys